Hey guys, this video uh, explains the basic usage of the DC-16 web badge. I have mine already installed and set up and ready to go and uh, powered on, so we're going to do a quick uh, proof that I'm actually hosting a website off of the badge and then how the badge starts up and works and uh, just a few ins and outs on how to use this thing. So let's get started. So right here I have my configuration. You can see the badge is started up and it's in the boot sequence so the very left LED is our selection mode and uh, the left two LEDs are represent our four possible states the LED next to that represents the step that we were on so we were on step one which is what you see when you first boot it up and the LED on the very far right is proof that we have an SD card plugged in which if you look at the back we definitely do and we can go ahead and unplug this guy and now you see that that LED is blinking telling us that we don't have an SD card in so I just put it back in and go solid again and since the firmware doesn't have any uh, air checking when you pull the SD card out it's always best just to power cycle the thing so to do that sorry this video is going to jump around but I am just unplugging the clips plug them back in and so we're all set so right here we have our power setup which is darn near impossible to see what's going on but what we have is that we have two wall boards one at three volts for the DEFCON badge and the other one at five volts for my little digi conversion unit here and basically that's just a serial to IP converter it runs a uh, 1152 serial communication back to the chip on our badge and then it's just got a connection which we can follow that wire right out to my router so on here on my uh, little netbook here we have the page which is already loaded and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and prove that it's going to error out which as you can see it did say done but there was no data and the reason why there was no data is because we haven't booted our badge up yet so we go back over here there's the button on the badge which we're all familiar with in order to change the states you press and hold it so right now we are our first step when we're booting up the badge is selecting the uh, like the chip speed so we're at 48 megahertz right now so I'll press and hold it and you'll see it transfer over which would be 24 megahertz but that's not what we want because we can't run 1152 baud rate at that so I press and hold it and it transfers back so to move to net to accept this step and then move to the next one I just push it once quick and you see that the LED jumped over there and so now we're selecting our SCI port which the SCI port on the back of the badge is already soldered up and so that is the one that we want the uh, other SCI port is these, well, I guess it's pretty hard to see, but it's LED 3 and 4 is our other SCI port if we wanted to pop those off and wire one of those up. But, so we accept that. And then the next one, 1152 for our baud rate, which is exactly what we want. Hit it one more time and it goes solid on telling us that we have our SD card in. And so now, anytime there's communication to and from the badge, it's going to flash a TX and RX light. And so I'm going to reach over here, uh, well, there, I'll show you guys just to make sure everyone knows I'm not cheating. So we're back on my netbooks now. Notice the uh, IP address is still the same, 101. So I'm going to hit enter this time, and bam, we watched the thing load up. And if we want to see multiple uh, requests on a single page, we can click on this, how it works, and now it loads that, and you can see the image load in very very slowly because it's only 10k a second so this is definitely coming off of our web badge and then I'm going to move over here push enter on the computer again so you can see the TX and RX lights go so I'm going to just hit enter and there is our communication back and forth the first time was for was the communication for the HTML and the next one was for the single image that we have on the page and just as one last proof of concept, we are staring at the LEDs on our IP to serial converter here. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. You see the requests come in, requests go out, and our requests come in and go out. So that is our full blown web server here. And uh, got this thing hooked up running next to my roommate's computer here. So we can shut this box and we're all good to go. And if you guys are looking at this off DC16 web badge, another way you can tell that you're definitely not running off a normal web server is that you can look at, uh, do a wget on it and look at the actual header, I guess do any 
connection on it where you look at the raw text coming back and you will see that the HTML header is most certainly not one that you would see from Apache or any of those other web, uh, web servers out there. So I hope this video was uh, informative and enjoy our hack. Thanks guys. Bye.